Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm out here with my iFlight Nazgul and we're gonna be showing you guys the best O3 camera settings that I've found for flying FPV. So let's get right into it. So for you guys to access these camera settings that I'm talking about, you guys are gonna wanna turn on your goggles, turn on your remote, and then plug up your drone, set it on the ground, and then wait for everything to link up. All right, so once everything links up, you're gonna wanna go into your menu in your goggles. You're gonna wanna select settings, and then you go to camera, and then you're gonna make sure you set your video quality to 4K60, I found that that's the best. And then I run my camera FOV at wide, and then I keep rock steady on. I usually keep my ISO limit at 400, and then I keep grid lines off. Um, and then we go into advanced camera settings. We turn sharpness on one, put noise reduction at zero. I keep color at normal. If you want decent light for, um, for color grading, you can do that. And then that's all I do for settings. So now that we have those settings on my camera, let's show you guys what they look like. We're gonna arm the drone up, start recording, and we're up. As you guys can see with these settings, you get a very sharp image. Set it with a little dive. Nope, not enough. The wind picked up a little bit. A second ago when I was flying over here, there was like absolutely no wind. Wind's pushing me weird. It's kind of the first day I've had in a while out here where the wind hasn't been blowing crazy and I've actually been able to fly. Oh, that was clean. Winds, horrible. Just try and hit this loop off this building. Oh, I feel that tailwind. It's kind of nasty. No, not enough. Let's try it again. Oh, rough, but we did it. I was pretty clean. Straight stall down the building. Better.
stayed in it for too long. I think that's enough abuse on this battery pack. Bring her back. All right, so that's my O3 air unit settings. I've found that that's the crispiest and cleanest settings that I've been able to get it to just come right off the drone without doing anything else. Just take the SD card out, pop it in the, in the computer, and I'm getting the footage coming out like that. I'm not gonna color grade anything for this video. I'm just gonna throw it in the edit, and you guys will see how it comes right off the drone. I think it's pretty good. But feel free to let me know down in the comments what settings you guys are running. Feel free to let me know if you think I could improve my settings. Just let me know what you guys think. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.